Welcome to 5 Minute School. Today's video will be talking about the heart sounds and heart murmurs. So, when the heart is beating, it makes a lub dub sound when it's beating. And uh, each sound is basically due to the snapping shut of the valves of the heart. And if you don't know uh, much about the heart valves, I'll link the previous video in the description below where I talk about the valves of the heart. So, the first noise, which is known as the lub noise, is the closing of the atrioventricular valves during isovolumetric contraction of the ventricle ventricles. So the ventricles will contract and snap these atrioventricular valves here and here shut. So it's going to cause the first sound of the heart, and it's known as a lub noise. The dub, which is the second sound of the heart, is the closing of the semilunar valves. So the blood would have passed through from the ventricles into the artery here, so either the pulmonary artery here or the pulmonary, uh, sorry, either the pulmonary artery here or the aorta. And once the pressure there is higher than the ventricles, it will cause the snapping shut of the semilunar valves. And that's the second noise of the heart. It's the closing of the semilunar valves when the pressure in the ventricles is less than that of the arteries here. Okay, so that's everything for the lub dub noise. Now we can talk about the heart murmurs. So they are abnormal heart sounds which are produced by abnormal patterns of blood flow to the heart. And it's mostly due to defective heart valves. So there's some issue with the the, with the heart valves which prevents the flow of blood and prevents it being normal so it's an abnormal flow to the heart so the causes of having a defective heart valve can either be due to a congenital condition so for example it could be a genetic thing where you were born with an abnormal heart valve or it can be a result of rheumatic endocarditis so an Example can be a case of mitral stenosis, which I'll include a link to because I've already covered that in a separate video. But just to summarize it, there's a lot of calcium deposits on these heart valves, which prevents them from opening and closing properly. Okay, so that's everything for this video. It was just a very short, quick video. The links to heart valves and mitral stenosis will be in the description below, so be sure to check those videos out.